хирургу, пришедшему, приехавшему к нам в гости из Франции, Эрику Батрану. Эрик Батрана мы видели где-то полтора месяца тому назад в нашем центре. Он приезжал по приглашению центра, по приглашению Инны Анатольевны Аполихиной. И мне было поручено э, вести то заседание и вообще весь этот мастер-класс. И мне понравился человек, как внешне симпатичный мужчина. Давайте мы его поприветствуем. Как специалист, как хирург, как лектор. И я думаю, что Эрик Батран будет членом нашей команды. И он сам вчера сказал, что он даже и не думал, что бывают такие конгрессы. Пожалуйста, Эрик. In 2004 and 2005 in our team in Aix-en-Provence, this is the uh, St. Victor Montaigne, which is close to our center. Uh, it is a center uh, around the um, peri and perineal dysfunction and pain of, uh, with a uh, uh, multidisciplinary team. As you heard, uh, TBT and TUT are a real main progress in the management and stress urinary incontinence and today. It seems to be the gold standard for stress urine incontinence with high rates of uh, correction. Um, it is a means of invasive surgery, and most of the surgeons are, and day patients are happy with this procedure. And the, the, the rate of complication is very low. And why not stopping there? And uh, uh, why going to progress and change again? And uh, the, um, the decision of uh, Johnson Johnson stop meshes also uh, uh, going in this, in this way. Uh, it's not uh, a decision of, uh, it's not a, uh, a decision of stopping mesh, um, but uh, it's probably uh, very important because it's, uh, it shows that we have to stop to put mesh everywhere in uh, excess and with exaggeration. And uh, in every uh, human activities and especially in medical activities, the best position is in the middle. And We probably will have to stop putting mesh in some dangerous areas, and, but we probably have to carry on with mesh where they are interesting and very interesting, especially in stress urinary incontinence. And the few complications are still there with TVT and TUT, and especially in TUT with Spain, as uh, Professor Pushka just explained. The rate is not very, not very high. It's uh, uh, about 5 to 10 percent, and uh, uh, with surgeon, we, we who do not have a very important activity. They don't see many patients with pain. When, when, but when you have one patient, it's one patient, this patient is too much in your, in, your, in your practice because it's a very, very severe disease. And if you can prevent this severe pelvic pain, that would be a very good progress. The other trouble is erosions. You still, every one of us have uh, the experience of, and uh, the difficult experience of trying to remove the mesh And it's sometimes very, uh, a, a big deal to remove the mesh from the, especially from the, uh, the internal obturator muscle. So we should keep the high rates of stress urinary, uh, on the, on the stress urinary incontinence. And, uh, but uh, we, we have to try to deal with, to reduce the pain and to reduce and to help the management of erosions. We know that uh, muscle pain is, uh, has two origins. The first one is a muscle pain. It's due to what we call, and we know now as uh, myofascial syndromes, due to the, to the muscle crossing, uh, usually because of a, uh, an, an already uh, fragility of the muscle after some activities, and also the, the irritating role of the mesh. The other uh, reason of, pa of pain is nerve pain. It can be nerve lesion, which are quite rare, but uh, most of the cases are activity of pre-existing neuropathy, especially the penile neuropathy in, in women after deliveries, and also the activating of non-symptomatic pudendal nerve entrapment. You all know these uh, pictures of erosions, which is sometimes easy to, uh, to, uh, to take care of, but sometimes it's a very, 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 very big problem. And uh, uh, we have to make it more simple, of course, with the improvement of the quality of the mesh and improvement of uh, uh, the skill of the surgeon, this erosion is uh, getting 
uh, are getting rare, but it's still, uh, will still be uh, present and we still have to manage it. So we'll have to be ready to remove completely the mesh. And look at that. If uh, the patient is coming to see you, if you would be a patient, um, would you say, doctor, before the knee surgery, uh, before surgery with putting mesh or putting TVT or TVTO or uh, other pr procedure of mesh, I would like to know if you will be able to remove completely the mesh in case of any trouble. What, is your, what will be your answer? Yes. That's the main problem. Question. That's the main problem. So, and it's something abnormal that we are not able to answer to the question, yeah, to, to, to answer yes to the question. So that's probably why we were very interested by the concept of mini sling. So what would be the mini sling specifications? First of all, avoid master crossing, that, you sh that we know that it can be induce master reaction and send mitral syndrome, my syndromes, are, which, is, uh, which are a very severe diseases, and sending the mesh in the muscle in the perineum and close to nerve courses. And we have to have the same rate of efficacy on stress urinary incontinence, of course. And today, there is absolutely no data, if you are considering all the mini on the market, um, no data which are confirming that the result of mini has the same as TBT and, T and uh, TOT. That's why we are, we, in, our, in our team, we were working on, on ministering since uh, uh, years and tried all the ministerings uh, because we were convinced that it was uh, important to, to, um, to go ahead and try to find the right ministering. So we tried uh, TBT Secure and all the, 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 TV, the, the, the procedure on MiniArc and, and Adjust and, uh, and Brevo. And uh, we were not happy with the procedure because the result was not so good on, on the stress urinary incontinence, and also because uh, the sling, well, there was trouble with adjusting this, the sling, uh, and there was too much staff, too much mesh, especially for a brevo, which is not a mini sling. There was staff in the, in the operator muscle, so we were not happy with that. So uh, I, I'm going to sh show you uh, a mini sling, which is probably a step in the, f in the future, but just an interesting step. And uh, uh, if I can, I will show you in, in the operative room uh, this interesting mini sling uh, because it seems to give some very good um, results uh, close to uh, TBT and uh, TOT results and with uh, uh, the, uh, the interest that I've been uh, describing uh, before. So uh, how, to, um, how to use this technique? It's exactly the same as uh, the uh, in-out procedure of TOT. This is a 3D uh, little movie of about five minutes. Um, so the first part of the dissection is exactly the same as the one you know. Uh, it's uh, a dissection uh, like for, um, for setting a, a TOT, uh, like a TVTO, for example. Uh, the dissection with a scissor until the aponevrosis. But the aim of this, uh, this thing is to uh, anchor a mini Anchor, a mini anchor at the level of the aponevrosis of the internal obturator muscle without crossing the muscle and without, of course, leaving any mesh in the muscle itself. So the first step is to, um, to tip, to clip the anchor um, by the, the way of a little tip. The anchor is in a little, is like a clip, it's, a, it's in titanium. So we are going to lift this anchor at the level of the the aponevrosis of the internal obturator muscle. There is a thread and a mini sling. So this is um, a view, an internal view of on the on the left of the the inserting of the device. So as long as you cross the aponevrosis, you have to stop. Uh, you feel that the, 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 the surgeon feels that he cross uh, the aponevrosis, then you can stop. And and uh, and leave and leave the and drop the the anchor by going backward. So the anchorage is is very strong. It's strong enough uh, for uh, a good adjustment, and you will see that in a few seconds. So the same, and you, this is to to show you what's happened with the with the the anchor. So of course. Uh, it's not a tension-free because you would have a, a, a quite strong anchorage, and it's and I, I show you that it can be interesting for some 
uh, correction, especially in case of uh, uh, sphincter incompetence. Uh, this is another little view of the, um, the anchorage. This is, of course, in this procedure, the main, uh, the main thing to have a good fixation uh, in order to have a, a good result with the adjustment. When the anchorage is done, the, the main uh, the main thing uh, has been has been has been has been done is is over now. Uh, so the same on the right and on the left, of course. And on the left, exactly the same. This is on the other side. <coughs> And then uh, there is a very interesting system to, to adjust uh, by pushing on the note and to adjust precisely uh, on right side and here slowly, gently on the right and on the, on the left until uh, the tension is, uh, um, uh, is adequate. And what is also interesting is that you are able uh, to uh, go backward until the note is, uh, is as, uh, before the note has been cut. After cutting the knot, it's over, and uh, there is no way to uh, to go backward. So that is to explain you. That is to show you what I just explained. The, the pushing we, 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 the, the pushing note with the with the, the loop, and slowly a little bit on the right, a little bit on, on the left, until uh, the adjustment will be will be adequate. So it's, it's, it's about the same um, adjustment as with uh, uh, TUT. And as I told you, you also can uh, uh, adjust under cuffing situation in case of uh, uh, sphincter incompetence and then induce, of course, some dysuria, but uh, that is for special case. But in usual case of stress urinary incontinence, it's uh, the, same, um, the same adjustment as TUT. And then we cut the, cut the note and it's over. Okay, uh, and it's to finish, I'm going to show you the, the, the first result of a prospective trial with that mini sling. Uh, it's a, a prospective trial in, in uh, five, five uh, centers in France. Uh, it was um, a prospective trial where the, the case was randomized um, just before, just during the day of the surgery. Uh, we were, by, by internet, we were ordered to, to use a TOT or a just wing. Uh, the TOT we used was the, sa the, the, same, uh, the same type of mesh in polypropylene. Uh, we randomized uh, 100 TOT uh, against 100 just swing. This is the first uh, result after two years' time. So they have been published after three years, or so next year. Uh, you see the, 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 the groups are equivalent uh, with uh, uh, 50 years, uh, pure stress renewing 95%. Um, Surgical duration is about the same, uh, just a little bit more day surgery in the groups, in the TOT groups, but the success rate is exactly the same with 97% of success rate in two groups. So that's an interesting result if it's confirmed by the, uh, by the, 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 the next, uh, the next uh, re uh, results after three years' time. Uh, you see recurrent surgery in uh, three cases uh, for just swing and five for uh, swing bound because in this group, we had uh, two, two severe uh, pain in where to remove the mesh in the obturator muscle, especially in, 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 one, in one case. Uh, she developed a severe myofascial syndrome, and she needed to have uh, removing of the, the mesh and uh, also a, a Botox procedure. So uh, the, the, the pain, post-op pain, uh, transitory pain is the same in the two, two, uh, two groups, 5%, but no severe chronic pain in the just wing group and five cases in the TOT group. So this is the quality of life, uh, considering especially the, uh, the, um, the urinary uh, troubles. In conclusion, many think that probably, or certainly now, considering what we, we know, the next progress for stress urinary incontinence specification should be robust fixation. Real minimizing of mesh surface is really uh, 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 the, main, uh, the main point for the future, as I told you. Uh, confirmation of high rates of efficiency is needing. Thank you for your attention. Uh, you can see